I wanted to be genuinely happy, um, you know, after a while. In the NBA, cheating scandals have never been that unusual. But the story of Kalani and Kyrie Irving in the 2010s made for one of the more bizarre controversies in the sport. Here's what happened. Back in 2016, Kyrie hit the news for reasons that had nothing to do with his skills on the court. The internet went off after rapper Party Next Door posted a pretty suggestive photo on Instagram. The photo showed P&D and Kalani together in bed. What made this so shocking for everyone who saw it was that Kalani and P&D used to date before she got together with Kyrie. And the caption P&D wrote only made things even juicy. The rapper wrote, after all her shenanigans, still got the R&B singer back in my bed. It was a pretty provocative post, which left a lot of people stunned. After all, lots of us were convinced that Kalani and Kyrie were head over heels for each other. Just one month before the scandalous post, Kalani expressed her love for Kyrie on Valentine's Day. She wrote that she was celebrating what would be the first of many Valentine's Days with the NBA star. But after the post, things started looking very different, and we all started to wonder if there might have been trouble in paradise that we didn't know about. Honestly though, even if everything was fine before the picture was posted, it definitely was not afterward. And it wasn't just PND's post that had imaginations running wild. Right in the middle of all the gossip that his post had created, PND dropped a new single called Come and See Me. Some people thought it might have just been a promotional move from the rapper to get as much attention as possible on his new song. But the truth was that most people thought the worst, believing that Kalani really was cheating on Kyrie with her ex. This led to a lot of talk online, often making Kyrie the butt of the joke. Countless memes were posted with pictures of Kyrie looking defeated. One Twitter user wrote that Kyrie got signed to a $90 million contract and got cheated on by a SoundCloud artist. Another said that the whole scandal was the craziest thing that they had ever seen. With so much chatter flying around, it was only a matter of time before Kyrie himself got involved. He responded to the situation in a series of tweets a few days after the incident. Although they have since been deleted, the tweets were shared by Sports Illustrated. He wrote that it had been hard to see what was going on and not address the truth. He quickly added that he did not justify the picture or what PND did to try and spark all of this nonsense that could have been avoided. But he wanted everyone to understand that he and Kalani were not actually dating by the time the picture was taken. While he said that it was unfortunate that it had received so much attention, it had become bigger because of a post that was simply misunderstood. He finished by saying that there was nothing but love and compassion from him to Kalani and her family, and that his only focus now was the game he loved to play every night. Honestly, it was a pretty level-headed response from Kyrie, and he might have hoped that after he wrote it, we would all be able to draw a line under the whole drama. But the conversation online continued to revolve around Kalani's alleged infidelity. In fact, there was so much online gossip that Kalani also felt the need to share a lengthy statement. But what she shared was more than anyone could have expected. And a lot of it was really devastating. Kalani insisted in her post that she did not cheat on Kyrie. She revealed that the couple had actually called it quits before she started up another romance with PND. She wrote that since everyone was begging for the truth about her love life, she wanted to say that she was severely in love with her first love. She continued by saying that she went through a bad breakup and eased into a relationship with one of her best friends, who must have been Kyrie. But they both realized that they weren't exactly at a time when they were prepared to be with each other. Kalani added that she was not a cheater, but someone who believed in following your heart and not lying to yourself. While that seemed to clear a lot of things up, what Kalani went on to say suddenly seemed much more important. She opened up about how hard the last few days had been on her mental health. All of the accusations and horrible insults that had been thrown at her about cheating on Kyrie had left a big impact on her. Kalani went on to say that all of the nasty things being said to her online led her into a dark space. She revealed that she had actually thought about taking her own life, which she described as a selfish thought. She had previously deleted her Instagram account, but brought it back to talk more openly about what she was going through. In response to yet more haters, she said that what she had shared was not a cry for attention or help, and asked if everyone was really conditioned to think celebrities weren't real people. In a post Kalani shared from her hospital bed, she repeated that no one was ever cheated on and that she wasn't a bad person. She also said that everyone was hurt and everyone was in a place of misunderstanding. And considering that even Kyrie made it clear that there was no bad feelings towards her, it was such a shame that Kalani had to go through all of this. And even after sharing how much she was hurt by the untrue rumors, they continued to follow her for years. In 2018, Kyrie once again felt that he had to step in and defend his ex from the online bullies. He wrote a very long and heartfelt post that took a lot of us by surprise. This was because in the post, he appeared to be apologizing to Kalani, even though it didn't look like he had anything to apologize for. The long caption was attached to a picture of himself with the singer. Kyrie wrote that he was sorry and that the post was long overdue. He went on to say that he had to speak on this matter simply because he owed it to Kalani and that she deserved the world to see her for her and for how beautiful she was inside and out. 
and she did not deserve to be forever attached to an emotional moment in time. Harry also mentioned that at this time, they both realized that they had to grow up and learn about their hearts and souls. And this was made more difficult by a world that judges and adds on fictitious pressure. It definitely seemed like Kyrie felt Kalani was still dealing with too much online hate about a story that came and went two years earlier. He addressed the haters directly in the post, saying that he didn't want any more negative energy toward his ex in any way. Kyrie doubled down on his stance that she did not cheat on him or intentionally hurt him. In fact, he said that she actually did something noble and respectful. And the fact that any other take on it was still being talked about was just outdated. He also called on anyone who was trying to intentionally hurt Kalani on his behalf to just stop it and said that he wanted his supporters to let her be the great soul that he knew she was. So at the end of the day, it looked like the whole scandal that was such big news at the time turned out to be nothing to the people involved. Kalani was obviously touched by Kyrie defending her. She commented on the post to tell him how dope it was that he understood his responsibility as a leader of young men and repeated what Kyrie had written in his original post about the bizarre situation, telling him that it was all love on her side too. But what do you guys think? Are Kalani and Kyrie both telling the truth or is one of them protecting the other? Let me know in the comments below.